Welcome to The Ambassador, a prophetic teaching ministry designed to help win the nations and equip the saints. And now, join Craig DeMoe with his special guest. God bless you. You know, I have today with me David O'Brien. And what a blessing this is. The Lord instructed me to have him back on the air. He's been with me before, and he's a tremendous blessing to the body of Christ. He's traveled all over the world. He's been walking with God for about a quarter of a century. He's a married man. He's a father, and he has a lot to offer to the body of Christ. But I got a hold of his most recent book, and it's called Heal the Sick. And that's what the book is about. David, thanks so much for being with us. Craig, I'm so glad to be here with you and those who are listening. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know, I was really excited from the very first page of your book to get into it. And, you know, the backstory to this book is just tremendous. How God spoke to you and said to write this and where it took place and all these things. Why don't you just share that a little bit? Sure. This is three years ago, uh, just over three years ago. Uh, my wife and I and a friend went on a mission outreach to Africa, to South and, e and also to East Africa, then Uganda. And we, I knew God would do amazing things. I knew that he was leading us in that direction and had been training us so that we could go and he could do amazing things. But I didn't know how it would look, of course, exactly. And it turned out to really bless us and blow our minds. We showed up in the capital city of Uganda, or nearby that, which is in Tebe, if any of you out there know. And while we were there, God spoke to my companion in the night and gave him a verse, which is from Jeremiah. It says, Call unto me, and I will, sh I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which you don't know. And he was so excited, the Lord would not let him sleep. And he kept telling him, I'm going to show you great and mighty things, you know. And he, and he also went on to read where it talked about, I'll heal the people, I will cure them, I will bring healing to their land. So in the morning, he came and told me that. And I smiled because I knew that's what's coming. And I was just so blessed to be partnering with him and my wife over there. Well, when we got to the location, of course, that's what we saw. It's what he had prepared us for. It's the words that we spoke with the first city we were in. We brought um, God's messages of the gospel to people and training to his people and healing. And there were so many healings. I'll mention that in a moment. But we went to our next location. And in our next location, praying with our host the first night, he just out of the blue, not knowing the, the story behind it, started to quote that same verse in Jeremiah. I quoted it twice. And the next morning we went to a meeting and there's another guy who stood up and spoke and it was not, he hadn't, I guarantee he hadn't spoken with our host and he quoted the same verse twice. And I'm noticing this and recognizing what God was going to do and that God was really trying to get us all on the same page. So what ended up happening was exactly what God wanted and, and can do and will do and that is so many people were healed and empowered. Craig, I want to emphasize, not just healed, empowered. Yes, to lay at their God. hand on the sick and see the sick recover themselves because Thank Jesus you, in them is the same that's in Peter and John and Paul and you and I and can do the same works through all who reach out in faith and step out in faith. And so what we saw there were, I would say, mass healings, uh, but um, they weren't done. Most, most of them, most of them were not done in a uh, large meeting outreach, evangelistic outreach. They were done through the whole the entirety of the body of christ pretty much everybody yes with very very little exception there was one exception just because of american tradition but other than that you no, know, even there everyone healed the sick multiple times in that in that time you know that's one of the reasons i'm so excited about this message is because believers really do need to see that they have the authority and they have the power to heal the sick. And that's what your book emphasizes, is both the authority and the power to heal the sick. We have it already, but there's so much yes. noise around us that we haven't separated ourselves many times to that which we already have. And yes. that's what your book is training people to do. You know, as you know, David, I'm getting ready uh, in the month of March to take another team over to Thailand 
And that's what all of us are doing is we are going village to village to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. But you know, it doesn't have to take place in a far away uh, location like Southeast Asia where we are going or over to Africa like where you were three years ago. It can happen on your street. It can happen at, you know, when you go to the store. It can happen anywhere. And I'll tell you, anybody that God has anointed to train other believers to lay hands on the sick, to see them recover because they have separated themselves to the ministry that God has given to all of us. I am yeah. excited about that. And I'm that's why I'm so excited to have you on the broadcast this week, David, is because of that very thing. Praise God. Just hang on a second. You've got um, so much more to share, I know, but I just want to let people listen to this information about the tremendous resource that you're making available to the body of Christ. Listen to this, then we'll be right back. During his recent visit to China, the Lord instructed David O'Brien to write his latest book entitled, Heal the Sick. After you get your copy, on every page you can expect to be motivated by the Spirit of God to help fulfill the Great Commission, to gain greater understanding of your authority as a believer, and to feel the compassionate heart of Jesus for the sick and suffering. Heal the Sick by David O'Brien will inform, equip, and train you to heal the sick. Get your copies now. The ebook is just $10 or more. For the hard copy, add $5, which includes shipping. That's $10 or more for ebook, $15 or more for the hard copy, postage paid. If you prefer ebook, we'll need your email address. And we want to remind you that David will be traveling to the Congo in April to minister to the sick, train disciples, and win souls. So please be generous with your request. God bless you. Praise God. I'm back here with David O'Brien, and you're, you are sharing your story about how God began to lead you in the writing of this book. Let's hear more, David. Yes, sir. So uh, while in Uganda there and... Uh, seeing the miracles done through others was was the great blessing for me personally. Let me share one more aspect of that. Uh, Craig, you mentioned that this can happen anywhere. I want to share with you all, I live in the United States, so my wife and I and others who we partner with who have just some of the basics, and that's what this book is about, is the basics. They've been hidden from us, but they're available. We've seen more healings, more miraculous and amazing healings here in the U.S. than we have abroad, even though we go abroad continuously. Praise God. And the reason is just because of the time, you know, the amount of time that we're here. It's the same for you, whoever's listening. You are on the mission field right where you stand. And so we were in Africa, and while there in Uganda, among the people of God, they're flesh and blood just like everyone else. They need to believe just like we need to believe. And they, in the very beginning, I noticed several came up for healing. One lady came up, and she mentioned that her son, who was too far away for us to go to, had a problem, and she wanted to see him healed. She'd seen the healings happen right in front of her, the miracles, and she wanted him healed. And as my partner was just about to stand with her in faith and command his healing or something like that, I stopped him and I said, you know what? I just felt in this case, what really was fitting was not that. I said, listen, we're here to train you. After a few days, you will go to him, lay hands on the sick, and he'll heal. He'll be healed <laughs> by Jesus. Praise God. And she accepted that, and i tell you the fun thing is by the end of the class, she did that. And she came back with the report. We did not have to go over there. And, and and we saw other things very similar. When we got to the second city, as I mentioned, while there, and I told you how the confirmation about Jeremiah came up and everything. But I sat down early on, and I just sat before the Lord, and I got the outline to this teaching, which we did all week, and uh, included a lot of outreach as well and the confirmation of the message. And then as the miracles were rolling and everyone's getting healed and, and so much rejoicing going on, I sat down before the Lord again when I finally got a little break and had some time to be with God. And I heard him telling me, uh, just as he told me to write the outline, I also heard him telling me to write it into a book. And this really blew my mind just because it wasn't in, on my radar at all. I'd never thought, never really considered writing a book on healing. I have other subjects that I would have thought of. But I decided, wow, of course, you know, I'll do it. And when I finally had the time set aside, which was recently, several months ago, and I wrote it, 
it was a joy to me, to God, and uh, also miracles were happening happening as I wrote and, and between the time as well. This book, friends, is for you because it will educate you and it will equip you to do the ministry that Jesus started Amen. and that he wants continued through you and I. Amen. You know, and that's exactly what this book is designed for. That's why I'm excited about it. That's why we're promoting it. We really are. And it, by the way, you can learn more about David's ministry by going to axchristianity.org. Axchristianity.org. I am not ashamed to say that David is a tremendous, solid brother with integrity, and uh, he has the goods to show for his ministry. But we're going to have to resume you, this on tomorrow's broadcast. Join us tomorrow, and we'll talk more about the power of God. You're going to be infused this week. Come expecting in Jesus' name. God bless you. Don't miss the 7th Annual Ambassador Ministry Celebration Benefit Dinner hosted by Craig and Terry DeMoe. Join us for this unforgettable evening, Saturday, March 7th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Rock Creek Country Club on the West Side. Great fellowship, heavenly worship, personal ministry, plus you'll feast on a fabulous dinner and then be encouraged by good news from around the world about what God is doing. And due to a generous gift, your meal is provided but you must RSVP. We expect it to fill up fast, so don't wait. Reserve your space now. Call 503-692-2900. That's 503-692-2900. Adults only, please. You'll receive an opportunity to invest in missions work in Thailand, Pakistan, and Nigeria. Once again, the number to call is 503-692-2900, Saturday, March 7th, from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Rock Creek Country Club. See you there. Well, my friend, God is doing such a wonderful work in the earth today, and I certainly don't want you to miss the opportunities that He is giving us to be a part of His work. We are co-laborers together with the Lord. And that's why I'm inviting you to attend the 7th Annual Celebration Benefit Dinner free of charge just to see what God is doing. Now, in addition, I want to tell you about our next outreach because we are going to go, as we said, village to village in the north of Thailand to heal the sick, to plant churches, and expand the kingdom of God. In addition, we have an orphanage that we're building for 50 kids who are without a home at the present time. Now, I just want to ask you to consider whether the Lord would have you to be a part of this project. Just consider what the Lord would have you to do and be obedient to Him. It's not a burden to obey the Lord. Praise God. As I leave you today, let me remind you that you are God's ambassador. You're His representative on the earth. Bye for now. You've been listening to The Ambassador with Craig Demo. Your testimonies and prayer requests are very important to Craig. Please write Ambassador Ministries at P.O. Box 19561, Portland, Oregon, 97280. This ministry is sustained by the faithfulness of God through our partners and friends. We welcome your tax-deductible contributions. To find out more about partnering with the Lord through this exciting ministry, contact Ambassador Ministries, P.O. Box 19561, Portland, Oregon, 97280. Our web address is ambassadorministries.net. That's ambassadorministries.net. May God richly bless you.